Hello everyone, it's Glitchin' Out, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Manual. Yay! <laughs> yeah, but we're starting here in the um, nether farming district today because this is going to be the focus of this episode. We're going to be working on netherifying this entire area and making it look so much better than this barren mountain landscape that we're currently working with. So yeah, like netherrack on the floor, like... I don't even know, like blackstone, basalt, netherrack on the walls. We won't be able to finish the whole thing today, I don't think, but I hope we can at least get a rough plan and most of it done. So, yeah, the first thing I'd, I, I gotta do is get some materials. So, yeah, for once in our life, netherrack is actually gonna be useful. So, we already have the basic idea of the basically transformation right here. We're gonna be going with a lot of the netherrack with some of the anilium mixed in. I'm still trying to work out how to incorporate this because it's such a vibrant bluish green texture that is like, it just contrasts this so much, but I'm sure we can find a way. But I think the first thing we gotta do is actually completely fill in the stone floor and the grass of this entire area, which is gonna take a little while, but I think that's the first step that's gonna make it look a whole lot better. So yeah, I think we'll actually do this in the form of a third person time-lapse. I hope you guys enjoyed that little time lapse. I don't usually do them that often in this series, but I thought that, you know, <laughs> doing a task like this is kind of one that would fit well into a video as a time lapse. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. But you might notice that there is a bunch of grass outlining going on here. And that's because we're not done with the flooring or even, you know, the main planning part of the build. Basically, each of these little sections, so this one right here, you'll see, is gonna be a regular nether waste. That one over there. This is going to be a soul sand valley. This is going to be a basalt delta, warped forest, and crimson forest. So we're basically going to be representing every single type of biome. And that's pretty cool, right? <laughs> but the thing is, we have to have the materials to do all of those biomes, right? The soul sand valley requires the soul sand and the soul soil. The basalt delta, basalt, and blackstones we, have, we actually have a lot of. This one's pretty good. And then the forests are gonna take a lot of nilium so not nothing's too complicated but um yeah we're just gonna have to uh, you know get ready so i think these shouldn't be here actually so i bet we should do these you know sections one at a time hi mr zombie um starting off with the easiest one which is gonna be the nether waste so similar to the little tunnel we did here last episode or was it two episodes ago i don't even remember but yeah we're gonna be mixing in the nether quartz ore and the um nether gold ore to basically give the build more color so uh gonna be doing these little shapes here and there just in this section because um you know each biome is its own and we're, we're gonna be making sure we're doing these kind of in little veins not just one dot but sometimes one dot is you know <laughs> is good um but yeah we also don't want to add too much in you know because if you have too much stuff, it basically just becomes like kind of ugly. But I think that that's a pretty good balance. I actually want to. Oh, that might. Okay, I actually want to make this one quartz. But there you go. That's pretty simple. And right now, this is kind of looking a little bit boring. I don't really like the boring stuff. And so I actually wanted to make this place look nicer and also uh, give us room for expansion. So what we're gonna be doing is coming in like right here and making a little way down so like a cave shape so basically we kind of want to make sure it's kind of sloping down at a, at a nice rate like this and um if we go ahead and do something like that that should be looking pretty nice uh just a small cave but it might go into like a big area right so trying to make sure that we're making it look kind of like the nether caves you know because uh even nearby our portal we have like a pretty pretty cool cave that is uh it has protected me from some gas in the past gas in the past wow that's, that's pretty kind of fun to say and yeah so i think for now we're gonna go ahead leave this area 
maybe like right there um make sure we put all these blocks in and that is looking pretty decent i'd say definitely not perfect but you know organics are never perfect unless you're um i don't know like god or something but <laughs> yeah uh these last few blocks should be the final ones hopefully um oh yep this is um a little bit a little bit different than the you know normal nether cave of course they're usually easier to walk into but we're on a small scale here right so that should work looking pretty nice and if we just take a step back Ooh, maybe we'll mix in another piece of quartz right there this area it's looking pretty decent we also have to do the walls but i think we're going to do the walls after we have all the floors laid out and so yeah pretty simple here and if we ever do do a roof over this entire thing we can definitely add some glowstone here that'd be pretty cool but yeah now it's time to get the materials for the soul sand valley so i went to get some soul sand or soul soil actually from the nether and I forgot that I was, uh, I actually aggroed the pigment in a stream, by the way, twitch.tv slash lagging out. Come check it, check it out. I do stream there occasionally. It's gonna be pretty fun to come and, you know, just, just, uh, play with us. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of angry pigment here. And so basically I did a little bit of research and I found basically if I, if I exit their aggro range, which hopefully I should be able to do, then when I come back. They shouldn't be angry anymore, so yeah, let's hope that's true. The pigmen did not end up de actually, and I had to run hundreds of blocks away just to come back and, you know, be able to mine some soul sand, which is uh, kind of annoying, but in the end of the, at the end of the day, what can you do about it, you know? But yeah, I think we're going to be doing it right here. Pretty simple. I'm going to be replacing all this netherrack that we just placed down with a mix of the soul soil and soul sand, kind of evenly distributed. And this is gonna be a lot easier to travel on once we have the soul speed. Uh, another thing we did on stream. So yeah, if you wanna make sure you're seeing all this stuff, make sure to catch the stream. We got a couple soul speed one books, no soul speed two or three, which is kind of unlucky. But yeah, soon we'll have soul speed three, soon. So I was just going and gathering some bone blocks for the soul sand valley when I found this bastion. Which, um, it's actually kind of awesome because, uh, a few episodes I talked about how I wanted to get the snout banner pattern for our shield. And the Bastion is the only place you can get that, right? And so, I think we should just take some time and go ahead and raid this. Also, I wanted to show you- oh, no. But basically, what you can do is, uh, clutch or, uh, make it so you don't take fall damage simply by placing one of these twisting vines underneath you. Uh, another question I have is, uh, I don't know if- I think I might have generated this place before. But just not seen it because I don't see any piglin brutes and those should be spawning if um, this was a uh, 1.16 generated bastion which we are actually on uh, I'll show you 1.16.2 so yeah I think I'll just go ahead uh, raid this thing and then we can you know I guess I'll, I'll show you off some of the some of the highlights I guess including you know the chests which are the most important part those were the days pretty awesome uh, these piglins, I do have my gold hat on, so they shouldn't bother me. I, w I do want to take a screenshot as well. I don't want to die here and then not be able to find my stuff. Because if I die, I can always come back, you know. But screenshots are extremely important. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll take you guys through some of the tips for raiding a bastion. I, I, this was kind of um, not expected, so I didn't bring like any hoppers or anything. But yeah, so if you don't have a hopper, which you can use to make it so pig pig piglins don't get angry at you. You can actually just block yourself in. And so, if no piglins can see you, like we are right now, we can go ahead and open this chest. And look at all this good goodies. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pretty awesome right there. Don't break the chest, though. They'll get angry at you. But if we come out here, you'll see they don't appear to be angry at us for opening that chest back there, right? So, let's come back over to this chest. Or, I don't need another wart, really. This chest right here, right? So, let's just go ahead. Um, you want to be very careful when you're in a bastion, because... Uh, if you make a mistake you could die <laughs> a smite five iron sword you know what i'll take it i'll take it and there we go snout banner pattern that is the whole reason i kind of came here that is pretty awesome gilded blackstone sure why not that is pretty amazing <laughs> we can go ahead and put that on a banner and then put that on our shield when we get back just pretty amazing i'm i think i saw some other chests but yeah i guess i'll just go and find one real quick another thing i wanted to mention gold blocks right 
if you want to, you can take these, but the piglins do get mad at you, whether or not you break the gold block, so I would recommend if you're not, like, completely maxed out or anything, just don't even worry about that, because let's just say that's a quick way to die if you have a bunch of piglins with golden swords that are just bullying you, <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's not a chest, so yeah, chest time. Ooh, a jackpot of chests. Let's go ahead and cover these up. Okay, all boxed in, and while we open these chests, I actually want to talk about some more things about the Bastion. One, Bastions can usually- oh, Ancient Free, that's pretty awesome. Um, there are four different types of Bastions, okay? So, there's the, the Treasure Room, the Bridge, the Hogland Stables, and I think the Housing Units are the four ones. Ooh, multi-shot. <laughs> wow. Ooh, and there's Carrots, okay. Wow, I was not- I was not expected to take this much loot. Uh, and you know what? We'll go ahead and eat this pork chop. <laughs> Yummy. But yeah, I don't know exactly which- I think this is a housing unit, but I'm not that familiar with the different types. So don't quote me on that, but I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. But, um, these bastions, they can have a ton of different good loot. So, um, we, <laughs> we should have had less, uh, or we should have saved some more inventory space for, like, the stuff like the obsidian, which is pretty useful. But I think that's all that there is in this Bastion. And, um, yeah, that's a pretty good haul. We got a snout banner pattern, some gold blocks, a piece of ancient debris. That's pretty cool. And some golden carrots. So I guess I'll snack on these for a while. But we did get slightly sidetracked. This was actually not that many chests for Bastion. Some of the other ones have a lot more chests. But this one was a smaller one, which I'm actually kind of happy about because, um... We we do have other stuff to work on. I don't want to get too distracted. But if we just come up here, you'll see that we have the main tower right here. And then another tower over there. I don't want to push my luck and go there. But we'll definitely have to work on... Um, ooh, what is this? <laughs> Feather Fog 4. This appears to be a different section. If we tile in here, would there be more chests? There didn't seem to be, so I think I'm not going to test my luck any farther and just go back home because I actually did gather enough bone blocks for the decorations. So, yeah, let's get back over to our mini Soul Sand Valley. We're back at the base, and before we go work on the Soul Sand Valley, I do actually want to make our new shield because um, you cannot do anything with the old no Pokey Pokey now that we, uh, we can't add this ba banner pattern pretty much. But yeah, I already have a duplicated one that we made a couple episodes ago. Go ahead and put the snout banner on it, and then we can put the snout banner on the shield, like that, and then come over to the anvil, and we'll name this one No Pokey Pokey the Second. There we go. A beautiful No Pokey Pokey with the nice snout banner pattern. That is looking pretty awesome. Okay, so now that we're done getting distracted, we can actually come over here and look at the soul sand and the soul soil, which are looking pretty nice. They kind of contrast well. I've tried to blend the two bottoms together a little bit more, and uh, yeah, the only thing is it's looking a bit barren. All we have is these red, uh, what, what are they called? Grasses? Roots, yes. And they do add some color, but um, I want to add some of the bone blocks that, that are very, you know, very uh, signature, I guess you could say in the in the builds are or not even the builds just the general landscape of this whole biome you know so i think what i'll do is i'll put one maybe like this to kind of represent that this part has fallen down right and then here and there we can kind of mix in a little bit of bones like this and occasionally even put them into the ground like like that and then maybe we'll do one like this like that and we don't want to clog this area up too much, but I think maybe one more one more bone over here. Like that would look good. And then maybe this one will be a shorter one, right? And then this one will also come down here. Like that. Maybe we'll even put one right there. So I think that's looking pretty decent. Is that we gotta take a step back and see if maybe we've used too much bones? Hmm. I'm thinking maybe we move this one over to the side a little bit, move that one over to the side. And that should be the, you know, the Soul Sand Valley finished. So it's looking pretty good. I, we can actually go ahead and move these little markings for this whole part right there. That's, uh, that's looking pretty good. It's definitely better than just the netherrack. But yeah, I think we should work on this little area right here next, which is going to be the Basalt Delta. 
So like the Soul Sand Valley, we actually have to replace the floors with a mix of the basalt um, facing up and also to the side and also some of the black stones. So yeah, let me get that done real quick. A little bit of block placing later, we have a basalt delta or at least the beginnings of one. It is a little bit more detailed than your average basalt delta because we have included some of these sideways basalt, which I really like because it makes the you know area look a little bit more worn down, you know, as if like the ground is kind of scuffed. So that's really cool. But we're missing something. That's the signature, um, like piles of like I don't even know how to describe them, like this the piles of basalt, right? So. That's kind of what I'm going to be doing. I'm not very good at making these. I did do a little bit of testing in a creative world, but it's really hard to recreate the same effect if you want to make it, you know, easy to kind of travel through, which we're going for, you know. You don't want this place to be too hard to get through. And also, we can't really do it that accurately on the scale because if you notice, like, the things usually um, go up like 50 blocks sometimes even. Well, that's probably an exaggeration, more like 30 blocks, but it is quite high, so um recreating these can be a little bit of a challenge but it doesn't have to be perfect right this we're kind of getting the vibe here and then what i can do also is just include these little patches of it just here and there um this is going to make this a little bit more uh difficult to travel but i think we're going to have like a main path and that's just kind of not gonna not gonna be litter littered with anything so um i think that's looking decent <laughs> i can't really tell i don't have a very good uh point of view to look at from but yeah, let's go get up there. So if we uh, come up here, you'll see it is kind of looking a little bit better. But um, yeah, we're lacking some color. And also, I feel like I need to put some stuff right there. The shape seems like it's pretty decent. So um, maybe put one more right there. Oh, and these guys have just been bothering me this entire time. I think if I just kill this one. I don't know where his friends are, but yeah, we're not going to worry about that. The next thing I want to do actually is I'm going to be placing in some of the magma. Um, as this is going to bring in our color and it's going to be like the substitute for the lava, but I actually do want to recess this in a block. So basically what we're going to be doing is dropping in a block down like that. And then what we can do is place like orange glass over it and you can avoid taking damage simply by crouching. But if we place orange glass, we can still get the same effect without, you know, the danger of death and stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me get these in real quick and then we'll come check it out. The basalt delta is now all finished, and it's looking it's looking pretty good. <laughs> I added the glass in, so it's not dangerous anymore, but a little bit of danger, you know, the fire. I did not go with the soul fire, which actually reminds me, I do want to light some soul fire around there, because I feel like, you know, the basalt delta is more like the lava, the red, the oranges. It's not really the place for the soul fire, so before you go commenting down below saying that I should make it soul, soul fire, just, just know that that's my reasoning for it. Okay, so that's three out of five for the biomes, and the last two should be pretty simple, and uh, it's going to be pretty cool to make them because we actually have a little bit more of the like various grasses and vines to add to these ones, so it should be pretty fun making these ones. I think I want to start with the warped one, though, because, uh, yeah, I have these things on me, and I guess I'll go grab some more from the base. Alright, so unlike the Basalt Delta and the Soul Sand Valley, we'd actually not need to take out all of the netherrack and we can just go ahead and use the bone meal to convert the um, uh, the netherrack to nilium by bone mealing adjacent blocks to this and so I actually do have quite a lot of bone blocks around on me so I'm just gonna go ahead and bone meal this general area and uh, yeah we'll see what kind of things we want to do here I don't want to use these ones for this part I might sprinkle in a couple but mainly, it's going to be the, um, th these ones, these sprouts and little things. So, yeah, let me get that done real quick. Our custom warped forest biome is now finished, and if you look to the right, you'll see, I also did the, uh, crimson forest. So, you know, they're very similar, just bone mealing and then placing the little foliage down, right? So I thought I'd just do it all in one run. And yeah, other than a path, which I'm going to come up with in between episodes, I think we've done pretty well in recreating the new nether. <laughs> I really do like it, actually. It all blends together really well. I think the the biome blending, you know, it's not it's not amazing, but it's definitely it's definitely something. And yeah, <laughs> it's way better than the grass, right? The walls still need to be done. Um, there are multiple, various, you know, different different details. 
if you guys have any um you know ideas for this place just comment them down below i'll make sure to uh ouch that was supposed to work i saw it on a dream video okay but yeah if you do have any ideas comment them down below if they're good i'll make sure to include them because you know i'm not i'm not the best at this kind of stuff but hopefully i did a decent job and uh yeah it's looking pretty awesome but we've actually done quite a lot of work in this episode more than more i'd say than your average minecraft uh manual episode right we raided the bastion we built this whole area up and um yeah we even we even got this amazing new shield which i i, I adore <laughs> but yeah i think this is probably where i'm gonna wrap up this episode so yeah if you did enjoy it make sure to like and subscribe this has been glitching out goodbye everyone oh yeah and i thought that i couldn't finish video without first actually doing the boat clutch so yeah pretty cool